Hello everybody, my name is Ben and welcome to part 3 of my Vendors Infinity War minifigure showcase. Um, I've been working on these 6 that you'll see in this video since Infinity War came out last month. Um, yeah, these were basically a bunch of the figures that I wanted to do and I said I would add some more on and I ended up adding some more on. We started out with five. I wanted to do five heroes in the black order and I'm ending up doing twelve figures. Well, technically uh, eight in the black order. Um, I do not have the black order in this video. I only have one, so this is just kind of a sneak peek at part four. Um, but yeah, also stick around to the end if you would like to see me reviewing these three figures that um, Decent Customs sent me. I won these. I Well, it was really nice of him because I won Nebula and then he just threw in the Street Fighter character. I don't really play Street Fighter and uh, um, Chief, I think. I think I didn't watch that review of his. Um, but yeah, thanks to him. So I'm going to be comparing his Nebula to mine and reviewing those figures and everything. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with the showcase. First of all, this is uh, Bruce Banner, of course. I really loved Fig's art on Instagram. Link in the description. They actually used the uh, Superman hair for Bruce, and I was like, why has no one done that yet? That's really nice. So I ended up doing that. I did just a little bit of sanding to it to get it right. Um, some different, uh, not different, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. I did some dry brushing on his hair, and just a uh, jacket that I made over just a very simple torso. I just added some lines to to give it some definition. And just one little line on his pants to give him some more detail. And yeah, that's Bruce. Um, next figure is the first one that I made out of these. That is War Machine. Man, I really like how this figure came out. I did all the little pixel camo details. They're not the best. But I think that I did really well on some of them, especially. I love, like, these up here more than, like, I don't know. It, everyone is different. Some of them aren't as good as others. But I love how they all turn it, turned out. Um, I did a lot of sculpting and a lot of cutting to this piece. And uh, this was actually a gun from... Um, the Transformers Mega Bloks things, and a friend actually is asking me to make another War Machine, so I'm just gonna be doing this again. But yeah, that's my War Machine. Uh, if not my favorite, one of my favorites. Here's Scarlet Witch. Um, the thing about her is, is I worked really hard and I got these two absolutely perfect eyebrows, and then I was like, this is amazing. And then I put the headpiece on, and as much as I sanded it, it ruined this eyebrow. It ruined this eyebrow. And this eyebrow still looks fine, but it looked better. But whatever, they're still fine. I used the Clara head from Doctor Who, because I really only watched the 10th Doctor, so I didn't really need her, so I just took her apart and used that. Um, just uh, the mermaid hair, as I call it. And then I did a little... Um, code of course it didn't turn out perfect as you can see it won't fit under here even though I sanded this so much and some of the detail on her is gloppy I need a new red my red is super gloppy not a lot of detail on her legs just because there isn't on a real character and now this figure I actually made today well the day I recorded this not the day this will come out. This is Falcon. I didn't like this guy at first, and then as I went on, I kept liking him more. Um, so I painted the beard on the uh, Civil War Falcon uh, face because I still don't have the Hulkbuster set. Um, I painted his goggles a new color, and then I actually did this part of the torso with E-tape. It's supposed to stick out a little more, but it kind of doesn't. Um, 
I love how all of his little details turned out and everything. I don't really like this. Wait, no. Was it this arm? Yeah, I don't really like some of the stuff on the arms. It's kind of globby at some parts. But I love how these wings turned out. Um, I basically just used bricks, uh, these mixel ball joints, so I could create these flapping wings. I think someone else did this, but I didn't realize whenever I had planned it out that someone else did it, or maybe I did, and I just told myself it was my idea. But yeah, just Lego's wings cut up because I can't paint all those little details, except I did add these dark gray silver streaks. Lots of dark gray silver on him so he shines. Really nice figure. We got two more. This figure is going up. Um, not figure. This uh, video, that's the word, is going a lot faster than I expected. This is a Koye. Um, this was a figure I never made for Black Panther or for Infinity War, so I was like, oh, I gotta make her. I need to make her. So, yeah, um, I used another little, uh, Tente Wu skirt piece. And then I tried to make her a spear. It isn't perfect. It's kinda, kinda off-centered. <laughs> But I think I think it's fine. I just wanted it to have a brown handle, but the big point at the end. Um, then I use these Ninjago uh, shoulder pads. I thought they looked actually a lot like the ones um, that she has, so I just used them. I used the actual torso, which I don't do often anymore, but just sanded the sides and added my own brown color so it would match here and uh, some of the other parts. And uh, her head tattoos, the black part looks really great, but I don't really like the red part. Didn't turn out as well. But that's her. And our last figure is the only character here who isn't technically a hero, and he wasn't even technically in it. This is um, the collector. Um, who I, I actually, uh, did he, they didn't confirm that he died or not, did they? I guess they didn't. Um, but I did the same thing that I did for Mabaku to create the fur on his arm here and on his cape uh, to make it nice and soft. And I put that on a Batman cape so it would have the black at the front and the white. And I really liked how that turned out. This might be my favorite figure. He's kind of a morph of a bunch of other ones I've seen. Uh, his torso was based off of the... Uh, Chinese knockoffs of Legos, um, and then the hair was by Figs Art and another person I like theirs, and then the chain is uh, Wavy Films, he did that, and I thought that was really cool, and I happened to find a chain while I was getting some paints a bit ago, and I was like, oh, I, I could use that. And I think that the Aquaman face, this is the comic Aquaman face, okay, never mind, it's not one of come. It's not wanting to come off. I think it does really well for two of Devon, the collector. Two of Devon. Then I added uh, the legs are all my own design. Um, even though I was inspired by some of Wavy Films figures, where to keep it from being bland, he yeah, adds a little gray line. So I did that, and then the little dark red parts. And yeah, those are the figures. Now on to the little review, so this is uh, Master Chief, sorry I'm horrible with names and I don't really play Halo, uh, not a big first person shooter fan, but um, I think Wavy did, no, did I just, I just said Wavy. <laughs> uh, I think the Decent did a really great job recreating the camo. I think it looks really cool. Um, this Mortal Kombat character, I don't know the names. Uh, I think that he did really great at this one as well. Uh, wavy, um, why do I keep saying Wavy? What the heck? Decent, if you're watching, I just want to give you a recommendation. I take my figure's arms off and then paint them because his arm here, you might paint it on and it's kind of stuck so I can't really move him. 
but uh, I think that this idea for the mask with the biker helmet and the Ninjago mask, I really like that. That's a really cool idea. Uh, and his detailing is pretty awesome. Uh, especially because I typically forget to do, like, images. I typically forget to do back detailing on most of my figures. I'm trying to, as you can see, I just trying to grab it figures. Um, but yeah, I really like him. Now on to the main, the main one, Nebula. I really like his Nebula and mine. I was gonna like take his arm and put it on mine, and then his head and put it on mine, but. I just kind of want to keep them. I like how they look, and I want to keep them separate because um, I think that both of ours have different ways that they're better. I like, for example, I really love this arm that I did more, but I love how he actually did the curved torso. This was before I started doing that, like I do on my figures now. Um, and I'm kind of halfway on the torsos. I like those the same. But I do like his head better than mine. And I'm, I like my arm better, but you know, I think it's half and half. I love this figure. And I will display it proudly. Thank you so much. Decent! What is wrong with me? Why can't I remember the name Decent Customs? Uh, thank you so much for sending me these three figures. Um, congrats on 50 subscribers, and now you're at 60 already, which is awesome. Um, and thank you for watching. Uh, remember, I'm going to be posting part 4 probably in July. I'm taking a little break from the Infinity War figures, but I'm not taking a break for, from figures, because I'm starting work on solo figures from Solo with Star Wars Story. So. Those should be out June, as well as Jurassic World figures, Ant-Man figures in July, and finishing up Infinity War figures in July. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and good night.